Holy fuck, is that a gun? Hello everyone, and welcome to part 3 of Your Turn to Die. Mm-hmm. Right. So, uh, fortunately something to, we had to re-record this due to some technical issues. Aren't but, those fun? Yeah. But thankfully we know what we're doing, so hopefully it won't take us long to reach a point where we'll continue going in blind. Yeah. And luckily, we will not be staring at the same screen for half an hour. We are doing things today. Yeah. So, where we messed up last time, we realized it's because we talked to everyone except Burger Guy here. So let's Burger do that. Bug. Yeah. Burger Bug. I'm Katara Burger Bug, baseball player. Yeah, I'm a ball player. But if you work out too much and hurt yourself, you'll never hit the big leagues. Even among Gotta this rest. bunch, this guy stands out. Uh. uh what? what country are you from? Yeah, let's go with that. Where are you from? I don't got a clue where I was born, neither. Had parents, but off they went for I could even remember them. Oh. Still... My nationality's Japanese. Don't know about the dialect, but it's a mix. I, I feel like that that could change depending on what voice you give him. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. No way to explain his weird ass name. All right. Ain't nothing can't be fixed if you if you talk it out. Ain't nothing can't be fixed if you talk it out. Yeah. Incidentally, I believe baseball has positions. I'm a pitcher, confident in my batting too. Enough to go to Central League. I don't really follow, but does that mean you're good at both throwing the ball and hitting it with the bat? W well, yeah, that's right. I don't know baseball either, but he seems pretty proud of his strength. I was all happy after a long incoming comeback game, so I went drinking, then I don't remember a thing. Then when I wake up, I got a collar on in this place like I'm a dog or something. Such a bummer. Can't believe I can't get this thing off. Even his strength can't remove it. Ah. Uh. I should introduce myself too soon, huh? Yeah. Fine, I can read the room, woof. It's, you know, the mature response, meow. Ugh. Hmm. Alright, let's get the annoying kid out of the way. I can read the room too, meow. My name is Jenny Bushi, woof. I'm a sixth grader, meow. Great introduction, kiddo. Give me your ears. Don't call me a kid. I just introduced myself because you guys don't seem like anything special, woof. Well, that's not very nice. Do you remember anything about why you were brought to this place? Woof. Nope. Pick a first song and stick with one. <laughs> Mom was late coming home, so I stayed up to wait, and I heard the intercom, so I thought she was back, and opened the door, meow. A different grown-up was standing there, meow. Don't remember anything else. Woof. Is this the youngest person we have? A sixth grader? So that's like 11 or 12 years old? Yeah, I think so. I see. Hmm. Gin. I could go for some gin right now. Like, oh, yeah, we're gonna need some to get out of this mess. God. Don't give me those looks, woof. I'm a strong boy, meow. Boy. Yeah. He's acting tough, but he must be scared. You're a tough kid. Yeah, let's compliment him. Try and ease yeah. the tension. Yeah. Maybe he'll just get a big head and get himself killed, but either way, it's a win. <laughs> of 
course, Meow. Don't think I'm just a regular kid, woof. I'll definitely make those kidnappers pay, Meow. Hmm. You might just be right, Jim. How does this guy fit into society? <laughs> hmm. We'll have them make up for what they did. I gave him a pat on the head. How come this person has a pillow with them? Like, and we didn't get to bring anything. <laughs> we didn't get to bring our pizza. Kai got to bring friggin' soup ladle and two other things. <laughs> and this this guy has a has a pillow. <laughs> I mean, um, uh, uh, rock girl got her instrument stolen, but the furry can keep his pillow. <laughs> How does this and Pale, Pale keeps her bucket. <laughs> Jack and Jill went up the hill to get a pail of water. It wasn't there. Because <laughs> this girl stole it. <laughs> if we had pizza, we wouldn't die of starvation down here. Because that's yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Woof! You seem nice, big sis Sarah. Okay, I I'm okay trusting you, meow. We just met you. But big sis? We are not your big sister. <laughs> huh? It's not big bro, is it? Woof! Big Maybe brother Sarah. <laughs> Maybe I got it all wrong, meow. That's not the problem! If I had a little brother, I wonder if he'd talk to me like that. Alright. Right. Totally not the villain? Yeah. Alright, totally innocent man. What have you got? Let's... Well then, should I introduce myself to? My name's Sue Hiyori. Uh, well, just a job hopper. <laughs> yeah, I think it's so. So. So live in hand to mouth, meow. Sometimes I put other people's hands in my mouth. <laughs> hey, fuck? don't don't put it like that. It's not a ton, but I've got savings. Uh, <laughs> Why I love you... how that line went into the next one. <laughs> Sometimes I put others' hands in my mouth. What? Whoa, 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 don't look at it like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. Why wouldn't you introduce yourself at first? Naturally, I was wary like Joe was. Plus, saying I'm a job hopper is a little embarrassing. <laughs> he just looks like a hobo. He's a job hopper. He is a hobo. Just make up some lie, meow. You're honest to a fault, woof. Jin is okay with lying. <laughs> Nick will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. I don't know about that. You can't trust people like that, right? I gotta start taking notes for all these characters. <laughs> <laughs> He's always smiling. He seems kind. Or maybe more timid. <laughs> uh, come on, now. Don't look at me so pitifully. Miss Sarah, you seem steadfast and strong. I'm jealous. Actually, oh wait, oh that's you. Alright, actually, I wanted to ask something. Both of these are pretty good questions. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, uh, ideas about the incident or memories before arriving? Uh, ideas about the incident could be about how he wanted to kill all of us. <laughs> uh, let's ask about his memories, I guess. I don't remember what we picked last time. Gosh, feels like you're asking in such a first things first way. I was on the way to my usual part-time job at a convenience store. It's a bad part of town, and I was aware of how dangerous it could be out at night. But the night shift wages are good, so... Suddenly, 
someone attacked me. I can't remember what else happened then. Uh, sorry, I, I can't remember anything much. Sure. So the mugger got mugged. <laughs> well, neither can we. Right. Don't sweat it! Once you get home, go find a job, meow! <laughs> he already has a job! He just told you about how he got mugged coming home from his job! <laughs> yeah. Stupid kid. I'm gonna kill you first. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, uh, job hunting. Steady work. What if in the end it turns out he's not actually the bad guy, it's just like his twin brother or something? With a green beanie and turquoise- with a- with green hair and a turquoise beanie. Oh god. <laughs> no, his twin is just him without a scarf. <laughs> Looks like he's being crushed under not only the immediate fear, but an uncertain future. Uh, I bet if you guys couldn't tell, we think this guy's the villain because we kind of saw him at the beginning and also because he's got a scarf covering his neck, so he's probably not wearing a collar. Yeah. We can't see him or Jin, uh, their collars. Yeah. It, I would be, a, I w it would be hilarious if the kid was actually the mastermind. If the 11 to 12 year old was the bad guy. Oh god. <laughs> Temple, temple, temple. Alright, got it. Hey. Alright, let's try to comfort this girl. She's looking pretty pale. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pale. I had to rewrite, um, Jack and Jill, and that's a story about a pale this morning in English, and I've just been thinking about this recording all day. <laughs> Are you okay? No. If you've calmed down, could you talk to me? Um... I'll say... I'm Kana Kizuchi. She's able to talk now. Her name's not Pale? <laughs> Nick is disappointed. Oh, he, he's very sad. Yeah. Kana, could you tell me more about yourself? Okay. Uh, I'm... In middle school, and, um, um... So she could be younger than Jin. Yeah, uh, it's okay. We're the same age. You don't need to rush. I was coming home with my big sister. We were eating ice cream. We were just walking along and talking about what to have for dinner. Like KFC, a nice bucket of chicken. We were licking our fingers. <laughs> fingers. Oh god. <laughs> Suddenly, some scary people came out from a black car parked on the road. I see. That must have been frightening. Yes. Her sister. What she just said makes it sound like the two of them were kidnapped, or both kidnapped, but... There's only Kana here. Just a hunch, but I feel like it would be bad to ask about it now. Um... You know, try asking anyway, it's what we did last time. Yeah. I... You weren't with your sister? With... her... I was with her... Sister... My sister... Uh... uh <laughs> She's dead! My sister, why? How? It's my fault! My sister, wah! Ah, oh, she melted like ice cream! Kinda looking. <laughs> that wasn't even that funny. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> she didn't melt like her sister, did she? Oh god. <laughs> she melted like ice cream. <laughs> it looks like she's passed out. <sighs> Damn it. This is a messed up shit. She died? What the hell did this poor girl do, huh? Does this culprit even got a heart? No. <laughs> oh, and he's the next one to talk. Yeah. Seems like this isn't some joke or prank. I, I don't like this! This is too awful! Just too! Hey now, everybody, don't lose your cool. You've got your friendly policeman here. Oh, that's reassuring. Yeah, what did you do to, to stop this? Yeah. Hey, KG, you're the reliable one here. What should we do? You should change your tune. Someone is passed out. Well, first things first. Why don't we confirm what each of us has found in this place? Well, that sounds like a good plan. Kermit agrees. That's just what I was thinking of saying. See? I picked up this thing. It's a huge box, meow. How did you hide that? Yeah. Bet you could fit a whole watermelon in there. So we have a watermelon sized box. <laughs> Where, was, where this, was he keeping that? Was this from the like, first trial? Uh, yeah, where, was... Uh, how? Yeah, he couldn't have put that in his coat. Was he just, like, holding it the whole time and no one was like, Hey, what's that box? Struggling to hold it, just like, I'm chin! Uh, my arms! <laughs> <laughs> no, what if he was just using it as a chair while waiting for people? <laughs> <laughs> yep! So I mean, bringing this box was the point of the first trial. Oh, guitar it's Kataro's box. Yeah. Oh, Say what? Did some people have different first trials? We can discuss that later. First off, let's open up this box. It ain't gonna. It's got these keyholes, see? Sarah, do you have any ideas? What? Me? Maybe a key? Yeah. I just like catching you off guard. Friendly neighborhood police officer. That's a lousy reason. Right. Touch an item in your possession and you might- And you can use that item on a person or object. Let's unlock, um, So's scarf. Yep. <laughs> a large box big enough to fit a watermelon. God. It's in green text, too. Yeah. God. What if the whole time it turned out we could just use these keys to unlock the things on our necks and just leave? And no one- How do we leave? How, how do we- how do we leave, though? I don't know. <laughs> this is it! <laughs> the key fits perfectly in the hole. There are three keyholes, which means- Use the key two more times. <laughs> Can we use our key, too? You had a key, too. This whole time. Let's try it. Oh, and I wonder if Kana... ...took a red key from Kana's clothes, so we fucking looted her. <laughs> looted the corpse. Yep. We, we looted a little girl's pockets. It's not whittled down, but I'll give it a shot. The other two keys also fit perfectly. Alright, this might be dangerous, so leave it to the policeman. He's about to reach into the box. Yeah. And it's open. And it's a watermelon. <laughs> What's inside? Uh, you might not want to look. It's two watermelons. Oh god. <laughs> two very nice juicy watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I saw it before Cage could speak. Inside was a person's head. Well, it's not ice cream, girls. Uh, that head God. looks unmelted. Yeah. <laughs> no! F 
For real? Uh. Wait, isn't that just a watermelon a doll? <laughs> huh? Oh, you're right. It is a watermelon. God. Hmm. A letter? Find my body. Bring me back. For I don't have arms or legs. Take my body back. Find her body? Where could the body be? Something you never hear Kermit say. <laughs> uh, do we even need to find it, Meow? This could be a trap, woof. You're a trap. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Well, to be fair, we did both think he was a girl at first. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just I wanted Kermit to. <laughs> You're a trip. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's true. I don't think there's any need to do what the letter says. I think it's about time we searched outside of this room. I need a drink. Ah! Isn't that dangerous? <sighs> You're a dangerous god. I want to get back home. Can't stand to just sit still here. L let's move in groups. Like Scooby Doo. God. So that no one does it right. <laughs> what do you think, KG? That face suddenly popping up will never not be funny to me. I know. I'm scared! If there's some other horrible device like the first trial! Me and Nao can look after Kana. If you guys are in danger, haul ass back here. Well then, who should I go with? I think we should keep an eye on someone suspicious. Yeah. Like, maybe someone in a beanie hat. Yes. That I... we can't see their neck. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's see. Kayak so strangely. And what? I can't fully find myself trusting Keiji. Oh, fuck. And Katara doesn't seem like a bad person, but what you see? Thinking like this is just going to make me suspect everything. Hey, Miss Sarah, could we search together? Eh? S sorry, if you can't trust me, that's fine. It's not anything like that, just... Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I trust you too, Miss Sarah. <laughs> but throwing around a word like trust just makes you look suspicious, huh? No, no, it's not like I really distrust you so. Alright, let's get searching around. Don't have any big spills, guys. Don't spill like melted ice cream God. all over the floor. And be sure to share any info you find. Discussion end. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> now we can do stuff. Now we can move. All right, Miss Sarah, should we go? The first trial, a doll head and a body. Let's try to find some kind of clue. You know, I like to imagine that like once everyone decides they're going to get up and like walk around to do stuff, they're just like, ah, fuck my legs, because they just hurt because they've been standing still for like half an hour. <laughs> I, what are you doing? Now and Rico are looking after a fainted Kana. Sarah, come running if you're in danger, all right. Feel free to leave the heavy lifting to the guys. Then again, the scrawny beanie kid doesn't look so tough himself. You better run too. What a cutting remark. <laughs> You're I not going to be saying that when he slits your throat later. I will kill her second. <laughs> Best of luck, everyone! 
I will kill her last. Precious. <laughs> Waifu material. Um, oh, wait, yeah. She's a former student of Mishima, so we don't know her age. Yeah. All right, uh, should we go to question mark, question mark, or question mark? I have a good, good feeling about question mark, but question mark also looks pretty tempting. Yeah. I think we should go with the big one. All right. Game! Game. They're a red vending machine here. <laughs> well, Grandma. They're... They're a red vending machine. Seems to sell cigarettes. And in the back is a smoking area, I guess. Don't buy any if you're underage, of course. Can't go turning you into a delinquent, Miss Sarah. So this underground prison maybe other dimension or something has a smoking area nice even lots of delinquents don't smoke honestly uh... all right let's smoke the back seems to be a smoking area let's smoke <laughs> let's smoke the vending machine is stocked with cigarettes there's something in the dispensing slot. Obtained a cigar. Oh yeah! Now we can go to the smoking room. All right. It's got a high class feel, huh? What would you know about living high class? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking hobo. Bringle I... Boys does not uh, make fun, does not condone making fun of hobos. All right. Or a the homeless. A sign that reads "Game." All right, go. Oh, wait, we gotta move. Game move. Is this a game room? Hmm. <laughs> Pretty lonesome, considering it is a game room. Yeah. Feels like there'd be some kind of puzzle or trick to this place. Well, there's a giant hole in the floor back there. Yeah. I'll rely on your insight, Miss Sarah. Oh, uh, well, there's a big fucking hole in the ground. There's a very deep yeah. hole here. Yikes. That's deep, all right. That's what I just said. Uh, oh. Seems like there's a wind blowing. There's winds blowing. Hmm. Alright, what is this? Oh. It's a dartboard. How dreary. Playing here would just feel lonely. Yeah. Alright, what is this? Is this like a monitor? Yeah. Maybe it has like our score on it. What's that thing above the... What's that thing above the dartboard? Seems to be a breeze blowing. Oh, it's a big vent. I thought it was like a scoreboard. Yeah. Hmm. Is it? So I guess this is like a puzzle. We have to throw a dart at it. And I guess maybe if yeah. this thing has like a breeze, it's like blowing stuff back. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's blowing the darts down the hole. Oh. Hmm. Wait, right, well. What is this? When you throw them, they go d down. Oh. The red door is shut fast. Someone just shut the door in front of us? <laughs> How curious. That was one of my other murderer friends. <laughs> I mean, there has to be more than one person, because, like, all these yeah. people have been captured by, people with, like, a black car and stuff. Yeah. Plus, like, I think, like, when we were captured at the beginning, we saw three arms. So that's definitely yeah. at least two people. Yeah. The blue door seems to open easily. Seems we can enter any time. That's how doors work. Yep. Blue door. Right. Let's go to the blue room. Whoa. What are those? Chairs? <laughs> 
There are human shaped figures sitting in the chairs. Oh, yeah. Let's get closer and check them out. Right. That guy is dapper as fuck. This is the Chad room. Yep. We're all yep, the Chad Joe sit agrees. on. Where all the chads sit on the top floor and the beta males sit on the bottom. <laughs> Odd. Alright, can we look at the picture? No, we can't. Uh... Wonder what this big painting is for? Finding it curious? Yeah! Oh, paintings are for decoration. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe try taking it off the wall. What? Is someone going to have to jump off the top floor and grab the painting? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll check the easy things first. Like these chairs. Well. Besides, Sarah, it's just barely out of your reach, huh? Hey, I grew a centimeter last year. Don't take me lightly. Don't put me down, man. I'll be calling you Shorty someday. I won't take you lightly because you are fat, Sarah. Jeez. <laughs> are you what? Right. Sure is a suspicious place, I tell you what. What are you doing, Kataro? Just getting a big old view of the room. But these guys, they're checking every corner. No hesitation. I, ain't they scared of traps? I guess that conversation's done. It would appear this is a doll. Its placement here seems significant. The head has a weighty feel. When I shake it, I hear this sloshing sound. Alright. Is there liquid inside? Perhaps the kidnapper's aim is to have us stick a straw in here for <laughs> hydration when we find ourselves thirsty. What? Oh, okay. Kitaro, or not Kitaro, uh, Kai, I am not putting a straw in a doll's mouth. And drinking from it. <laughs> the head seems pretty solidly built, though. Because that's just weird. Oh. Apologies. I was trying to tell a joke. God. At a time like this. Truly sorry. I ain't whatever, Kermit. Hey, Sarah. Put out your hand. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Look, just like this. Follow my lead. <laughs> Take your arm and extend it forward. <laughs> um. Received free bullets? What? <laughs> okay. Wait, these are. Bullets? No, they're not mine. Found them while checking the seats. Maybe we'll Why find are you giving better. them to a school student? Maybe we'll. F yeah, you're a you're a cop. You are a police officer. It is your job to hold on to stuff like this. Maybe we'll find something better if we keep searching. Well, uh, I've never even seen these in person before. Are these real bullets? Probably. Dangerous stuff. So would you take them? You're the cop. You are the- you are the worst cop. Alright, not the worst, but you are a terrible cop, sir. So. Yeah. Why me? Joel get antsy if I have him. Wow, really? He could throw them at me really fast! That said, I can't- him. I can't give them to Joe either. God. So I'm counting on you, Sarah. Please do not shoot me if you find a gun. There's like 10 other people besides us and Joe. Yeah. He chose to give guns to a student. Like, no, not gun. He goes to give bullets to a student. 
Now let's find that gun. <laughs> Something strange is sitting in the chair. Looks like it's a doll. A doll, huh? Let's inspect it or let's not touch it. I feel like we should just look at it for now. Uh, yeah, alright. It's dangerous to touch things carelessly. Let's observe it a little. She says as she has three bullets in her hand. That someone touched and gave to her. Yeah. Good point. I looked the doll over closely. It appeared to be affixed to the chair made so it couldn't be moved. It feels like there's something to this. Well, that's good anyway. I don't know what I'd do if it suddenly attacked. Is that supposed to be foreshadowing? I don't know. Alright, what's going up here? So and his, so and his army of dolls. <laughs> a dubious doll sits in the chair. Hmm? Dubious doll with a doobie. God. Taking a closer look, there's something between the doll and the chair. Is this a gun? We have a gun? God damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're packing heat now. We have bullets and a gun. Got obtained a revolver. We have bullets, oh, a gun, no. and a cigar. God. What are you doing with that, Sarah? It says, what are you going to do? Oh, what are you going to do with that, Sarah? Oh, he watched us get the bullets, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, sorry, Miss Sarah. Hey, would you give me that? Absolutely not. Fuck no! If we give So the gun, the game is gonna end right here. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna shoot us, he's gonna shoot KG, and he's probably gonna shoot Guitaro, because he's one of the- he's like the biggest, most powerful guy. Yeah. So. Uh, that's right. You shouldn't let it leave your sight. Doesn't seem to have any bullets, but definitely don't hand it over to someone else. Oh, he doesn't <laughs> know we have them. Oh, yeah. We can surprise him. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> We're back! <laughs> God. I want the thumbnail for this to just be Sarah holding the gun, like, with a cigar in her mouth. Sarah is strapped. God. And so, so's gonna get uh, clapped. Alright, so it's your turn to get a cap up your ass, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I understand. Uh, Alright, so we have a gun. I guess we can feel a little bit safer. Yeah, we could kill three people. Yep. One if we're really bad at aiming. Alright. So, we could put a bullet in so, and then, for good luck, put another one in so, and put a bullet in KG because he's an asshole. We could save the bullets by just shoving so down that hole in the other room. Also a viable option. And he's going to land on a bunch of darts, too, probably. Ooh. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, what if by the end of this, we just, what if we find a suit and a fedora and we can just mimic this picture? What if we just find more bullets as the game goes on and we have to kill everybody one by one? Oh my god. <laughs> we are the villain. Oh god. I bet- I think we've looked at all there is in this room. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the blue room. I feel like if we talk to someone else, the- they might prompt us with the gun. Uh, maybe. Let's try talking to him. I guess. Alright, better be a good policeman and look around a little more. Oh, you missed something. Uh, you keep it up too, you two. Yeah. Hey, policeman, you missed the gun. Wait, if you click the gun and then click him... You, you should probably save before you- Yeah! 
I'm going to do that. Can we just like kill people? If I, I don't think so. But if no, we can, I don't can, think it's, it's programmed that way. But like, yeah, I I doubt it is. But that'd I, be so cool. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I just kill off characters at your own will. All right, we probably have to put the bullets into the gun. Oh, wait, that's, that's the, the cigar. cigar. Don't want to put that in the gun. Yeah. Live bullets, I have three, can be loaded into a gun and fired. Extremely lethal. Bullets, extremely lethal. <laughs> a revolver, a weapon that fires bullets, can be charged with up to nine bullets in its circular chamber. But what's the large hole in the center for? Where the trigger is? Yeah. Oh, the hole, no, the hole in the center is where the bullets come out. I don't think I can use it on him. Oh, Damn it. dang it. Wait, is there something in here? Nope. Alright, then I guess we've done everything we can do in this room. Alright. Imagine if, we, if the game just let us do that, just like shoot him and then everyone else is just like, What the fuck? Sarah, why did you do that? What? You think we're supposed to like shoot the dartboard? Oh yeah, actually. Uh, it's a dartboard. All right, we already read that. All right, so it won't let us do anything. I guess we just continue to look around then. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can't go in the red room, right? Yeah. Yeah, tightly shut, can't be open. We could say open the door, we have a gun. <laughs> open up. Think uh, of how much power we have over all the other characters now. Yeah. Like, literally. <laughs> we are practically God now. That's not saying much in this little world, but... Yeah. Um... What's in the little question mark? Oh, okay, I, we're going. I, I just clicked going the this big way. one. I... There's a green vending machine here. No, there, a green vending machine. <laughs> there, a green vending machine here. Seems to sell drinks, but I've got no money. Because I, have I am a, a gun. I, I have a gun. Force your hand into the machine and grab the drink I want. <laughs> <laughs> I have no money. I have a gun! <laughs> a vending machine with high prices. Water and soda. Both cost a thousand yen. Talk about price gouging. Damn. I think that's like ten dollars or something. Hmm. Right. Bar. I can't interact with the bar sign. Go into the bar. Alright. Let's get shit faced. Couldn't smoke earlier. Yeah. Let's We're gonna get purpose. drunk and we'll have a gun on us. It seems you killed them in your anger. <laughs> this looks like a bar. As noted by the sign that said bar. God. Seems to be a lot of alcohol present. But you're underage, so keep away, Miss Sarah. No, keep away Miss Sarah. <laughs> Miss Sarah. God. Are you sure you're not already drunk? Miss, they're a vending machine. God. You better not drink at a time like this either, so. Looks like Mishima's ready to get smashed at a time like this. <laughs> I don't blame <laughs> <my best. laughs> On the other hand, some might say there's no better time to drink. On the other hand, we haven't seen your other hand. <laughs> God. Alright, what is he doing? Mm, this wall is made of wall. <laughs> Professor Mishima's inspecting every inch of the room. Oh, Miss Sarah! Have you encountered any dangers? Please take utmost caution. Yes. I have a gun and bullets and a cigar. Yeah. Hmm? What is that? Eh? Cigar! A miner can't be carrying around such a thing! 
Oh, I thought he was gonna say, what's that gun? <laughs> oh, God. I wasn't going to smoke it. I thought it might be a clue. I was just like, is that a gun? <laughs> I thought it was, I wasn't gonna shoot you. I thought it might be a clue. All right, to be honest, if there's anyone other than so I don't want to give the gun to, it's this guy. Hmm, this bullet is made of bullet. God. Very lethal. God. Is that so? Apologies for my suspicion. Yes, I hmm. am so. It seems I slip into teaching mode whenever I see a student. However, oh, no. uh, well, let's see. Yes, could you let me hold on to that? I'm telling you, I won't smoke it. Hand the but cigar over to Professor Mishima. Alright. That'd be bad if we were like, no, and then he went in our pockets to grab him and was just like, holy fuck, is that a gun? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Is that a gun? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Alright, uh, I think we're running out of time. Yeah. So, we'll yeah. continue this next time, but things are starting to pick up. That that was actually very fun. It was. Yeah. We found bullets, that was cool. Yeah. We, we are armed. We are packing heat now. And... I, I'm interested to see where that, where that goes. We will clap. <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll so get clapped next episode. Find out next time on Grindel. I hope so. Yeah. Uh. Right. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and we shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.